An independent study on behalf of the family of Missouri teen Michael Brown gives some preliminary answers about Brown's death. In a press conference Monday, the family's lead attorney, Benjamin Crump, and former New York medical examiner, Dr. Michael M. Baden, said they believe a police officer shot Brown at least six times. They said the gunfire resulted in four wounds to Brown's right arm and two wounds to the head, and that all shots hit him from the front. Baden, a high-profile forensic pathologist, suggested the wound to the very top of Brown's head was unsurvivable. Co-counsel Daryl Park said it's the head wounds that showed the officer unlawfully killed Brown. And it supports what the witnesses said about him trying to surrender. We believe that given those kind of facts, this officer should have been arrested. Six foot four man. Makes no sense. However, KMOV reports Dr. Mary Case, the St. Louis County Medical Examiner, said Brown had deadly wounds to both his head and chest. Despite the attorney's allegations, Crump also said these results are very preliminary, and Baden also stressed his findings are offered as scientific analysis only. Attorneys do believe this autopsy will help validate eyewitness accounts of Brown's death. It confirms our worst fears that the witnesses were telling the truth, Robin. The most troubling is the headshot that, um, you know, it's just not justified in any way, fashion, or form. The family's independent autopsy comes amid controversy over the original autopsy conducted by police. That report is complete, but has yet to be released to the public more than a week after Brown's death. Brown's body will undergo yet another autopsy by the Justice Department. Sunday, Attorney General Eric Holder requested that a third autopsy be conducted by the federal government because of the extreme nature of the case. Although preliminary findings about Baden's autopsy were revealed Sunday night to the New York Times, reports of violence and protests escalating in Ferguson, Missouri dominated most other national news coverage. Governor Jay Nixon issued an executive order to bring the National Guard to Ferguson. I'm Lauren Gorse for Newsy.